Hello everyone. Welcome to Kavita Sejo Portal. In today's video, we are going to see how to create a LinkedIn campaign. Hope all of you have seen my last video where I have posted how to create a LinkedIn account. So today we are going to log in with that account and creating our first campaign. So go to your LinkedIn and log in with your account details. So if you want to create a campaign, the first thing you require is, see here you can just give I do this later because you just want to verify your identity. We will send you an SMS to your registered mail ID that you can do it later. So if you want to create the mailing list, so subscriber management is a very, very important concept for success of the email marketing. You may, you have both online and an offline uh, data collection method for that, but maybe that will be dropping in some other video. Here I am just going to show you how you can create your audience, how you can create your campaign. Because for sending the campaign, you require audience, right? So, so I am going to create my audience. So click on audience. Yeah, already I have some audience and if you want to create a new audience just to click on add a subscriber. There is also an option to import bulk uh, mail IDs but I am just going to show you how you can add subscribers individually. So here you can give the email address and add it directly. maybe again I am adding but one main thing that you have to ensure is that this person has given me permission to email just click on it then you give subscribe so like that 10 number of email IDs that you want to add it you can add so next I want to create my campaign so go to campaigns take me to create campaign so click on it so there are different options available what kind of campaign you want to create i am creating an email style so you can give a name for your campaign so first thing you can give is your two address so already the six recipients are default not being selected. If you want to edit also you can do it. The second is your prem address. So give your prem address. See this identity is very important because uh, only then the subscribers will instantly recognize you. So if you have a company you can use that. Then same way your subject line. This should be, uh, see a great subject line gives your audience the reason to open your mail. So in that itself we have to attract your audience. So I say digital marketing course enroll. Okay, something like that. Then save it. Then you have to design your mail. So design mail. There are different parts in your mail, okay, of content. So you can select any of the templates since they are using the free account, only these two are available for us. Other things are available only when you upgrade it. So I am selecting this just for an example. So you can design your mail here. So if a company is already having a logo, you can insert the logo here. If you don't have any logo, you can delete it. Then your announcement you can edit here and type whatever announcement you have. Something like that. All this I'm doing just for an example. You can use your own creativity. 
for designing this. So now if you want to add an image also that is possible. See there is a link. You can add it from a web address, email address, anchor link or from your local file also. So I am going to add it from my local file. So go to file. See already few images are uploaded. If you want to upload, you can click on upload. Select and upload it. Since already I have this, I will select any one of the image. Then you have to say insert. Now it will be inserted here. So before uploading all this, we check whether this image is under proper license. If it's reuse license, whether it is real or not, that you have to check it. So just click replace. Insert. So now the image is being inserted. So if you want, you can fix the size also. That is also possible. Just an example, I am doing it, so I am not doing anything else. And all other things, if it is not required, we can remove it. So, I am doing this also. And this find out more is your call to action button. Here, if you want to give the link, so click it. Uh, if you want to change it, uh, click now or call me, something like that. Whatever you want to give, you can give it. And if they click on it, where it has to take you, whether to your email address or web address, if you have your uh, URL, you can give that there. Okay. So, for an example, I am saying, I don't know whether this URL is available, I am just checking out. So like this, you can give it, then you can see the preview, enter the preview more. So in desktop, your uh, ad will look something like this. You can remove all these things also. Then if you have a proper link, this find out more will take you there. But now you don't have that. So this is the way you can design your campaign. So once this is done, you can send it to your subscribers. The campaign. So there is an option even to send a test mate to check it up. And even you can give it like finish later and you can uh, uh, schedule sending this mail later. Okay. For time being, you can save it as a draft also. So all those options are available. Maybe in the next video, we will see how to see the report. That is whether my particular email campaign that I have sent have been successful or not. Okay, what are the metrics to check? But we'll see in the next video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.